What's up, everyone? This is Squigs. Welcome back to another episode of Squigs Rob Macrop. We're here with the Haunted Magma and the Return of Shadower. In the Return of Shadower. And we have a sketchy door right to our left to start off the level, which is already confusing me because it doesn't look like there's any way back there. But maybe you have to go up and around off the top. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye out for that because that is definitely something of note in the first second of gameplay. How's everyone doing today? Having a good day out there? <laughs> oh my fucking god, this thing. Alright, we're just gonna take a quick hop over the scariest boo I've ever seen in my life. And then we get these silly ones to round it out. There we go. I wonder if we're gonna end up having to go all the way back through this level or something. Maybe like a P-switch or something like that? I've seen it before. I've seen it before. <laughs> I like this little wiggly part of the ground. Uh, good stuff. Oh, well. Maybe not. Now, see, I'm even more freaking confused now. What was the door? What did we miss? Is there a secret exit? I don't know. We'll have to fucking wait and see, I suppose. This music is awesome. That is like straight up scary movie music. Haunted house style. It's got that... Like, this thing that's... Not the deedle 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 part, but that other part that's, like, whining. What does that sound like? Ah, oh, those fucking weird instruments that I can never remember the name of. That you, like, stick your hand near. It was the first electronic instrument ever made, and you just kind of, like, stick your hand near, and it goes... It's, like, exactly, like, scary movie sounds. I, I can never remember what the hell they're called. Oh, God. I should have missed that. All right, please stay right there. I'm gonna hop off your little noggin. <laughs> all right, all in all, not too bad a level so far. Bad as in hard, I'm saying. Um, and it does look like we're going the up and down route this time. Come on, move a little forward, buddy. There we go. Stop crowding me. All right, now we'll just wait because I'm too afraid to try to scoop myself in there. Oh, I thought the music stopped. But no, it's just waiting to ramp back up again. Alright. We got plenty of power-ups for once. <laughs> Not too bad. Those clouds in the background? I kind of like it. Oh, shit! Wow, thank you for that nice little bit of level design, like those things having posts that go into the water. It looks good, and it saved my fucking life, so I'm two for two on liking that decision. <laughs> Alright, come on, buddy. Let's move. Oh, these guys. These little wiggly boos. Boom! There we go, not too bad, but what- The question is- Wow, I just realized that my volume's up really loud. But the question is, what is in that door, right? Midway point! God damn it, I gotta stop. That's happened like three or four times where I thought, like, remember the last level where there was all those yellow blocks in a row? I thought that was something weird too, but it was just midway point. I don't think I ended up showing it. Come on. I forgot how to go past the screen, apparently. Alright, so that is the Haunted Magma. Ooh, hot bridge. A bridge-themed level, you say? Oh god, what the fuck is that? Oh my god. I really like, I'm trying to, is the head on the, two, is it a two-headed monster, do you think? Looks like it to me. I love it. I love the creativity of these graphics. What is, oh, that's our uh, classic twimp. Oh, I did not expect to be able to melt buzzy beetles. Let's see if we can jump on these guys. Nope. That was a mistake. I think some of these enemies are not represented by classic Super Mario World enemies. I think they're completely new creations sometimes. I wonder if we can spin jump on them. Well, that is something that we just needed to learn. It's gonna save my life in the future. Yep. These guys, I don't think we... Yeah, we just kind of walk on them. Alright. Keep that in mind going forward. Oh my god, what am I doing? I... The like, literal last thing I said was keep that in mind going forward, and that I did not keep it in mind at all. 
There we go. That's what it looks like to keep it in mind. <laughs> That's what we're shooting for right there. A right, little rope area. We're condensed in these nice little tight hallways a lot in this, which is, uh... It's, <laughs> it's good for keeping the challenge going. I, I have a problem when I make levels that I fall into where I get way too much open space. And, um, which is good most of the time, but every once in a while to, like, really, like, put people in a small area can up the challenge a bit. So, it's not something that I, like, I never, like, if I make, like, a cave level, for example, I never have, like, only half the screen used. So, like, I don't know, I feel like you should use every bit of the screen, but you don't have to at all. You have infinite space, like, there's no reason why you can't condense people into half the screen. It's not like you're, like, trying to save memory. And, like, you need to use that space because you only have 12 levels for your game. It's like, fucking, we've gotten past that by the SNES days. Um, and even more so by the things you can do to hex that pretty much just make them infinite. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. I, was, I thought that was in the background layer. <laughs> it's like such a mean spot to start you in. It's like, oh yeah, nice, I forgot that you get to get this fucking power up, and then it's like, everything's coming at you from all angles, good luck. Alright, this is gonna be tricky. I like, I like where this is going so far. Um, cool idea for a level. Thank you. Nope, don't fall, don't fall. There we go. Yeah, I can get down with this. This up and down, you're about to die. God damn it. So the top layer of lava, that bubbly layer, doesn't kill you. So I was trying to save time by landing as soon as it was just that bubbly layer, but I left a little bit of the layer below. Uh, thank God for saving every level. So the way that thing just moved was really interesting, because it worked its way down off of a ledge, and now it's moving even more so to the right. I could see a cool puzzle with having to... Maybe not so much a puzzle, but like a challenge with having to babysit one of these moving along. So you could use it to jump off of at the end or something like that. Maybe for a secret exit, maybe for a tough fucking shitty slow version of an auto scroll. You'd have to have stuff like pumping out bullets and torpedoes and generating ghosts or something along the way. So like, it was really challenging to move because it's going to be moving so slow. But that's kind of an interesting idea, right? Yeah. I, I think I'm getting back into hack making soon. We'll talk about that when I get back. And we're back. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna get back into making hacks soon. Um, I've been thinking about it lately, like, before I started this channel, I used to make hacks. Um, or at least a hack. I was making a hack at the time. Then when I started the channel, I kind of stopped doing that, because I was playing them more than making them. But the more that I saw, the more I wanted to go back and make it. So eventually I went back and I made a few levels for a hack, um, that was, like, made after I started YouTubing, basically, compared to the other one that was just, like, uh, my first attempt at hacking kind of thing. And that one started to come along, but I only, oh my god, I'm so dumb. I only finished, like, one or two levels of it, maybe, total, but I started a bunch of them. And then that was about, like, maybe a year ago that I really last worked on that. Probably six months to a year ago. But I, I don't know, I'm feeling the- I'm feeling like getting back into it again. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I might do that, uh... Cause I'll be getting... I'll have some time where I can't really record videos, but I can just fucking make hacks. Maybe I can do something with the footage and try to- I've wanted to make a series on making hacks before, but, um, I've tried in the past. It's kind of hard to do a series on that because of, uh, I really need to just go for this. I'm such a wuss. Um, yeah, it's hard to make a series on that interesting because I figured out to design a level, it takes hours. So if I do it my normal way of, like, making a level, yeah, and, um, like, making videos and then recording everything live, it's not going to work, really, because, like, it's going to be, like, three hours of commentary. And, um, like, I can't, I won't be able to edit that down into something that's watchable. Unless I make, like, a whole series out of every level or something. I don't know. It's, like, it's hard for me to do, and it's hard for me to keep motivation to commentate well for, like, three hours in a row. You know what I mean? When I'm making levels. Oh, this is bad. 
I really like this I, this level idea. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what sparked it. Is this is like interesting to me? Like it's reminding me of all the cool things you could do. Just want to make some cool themed levels like this. Oh, you can melt them. Who knew? I think I I really think I might do that. Maybe I can try to make some content out of it. Maybe I just make a hack and don't make YouTube content out of it. Like it doesn't. Not everything I do has to be YouTube content, which is hard to remember sometimes. It's weird. Once I started like YouTubing, like playing video games changed. Like it's not as rewarding for me to just play a video game, which is kind of sad in a way. Um, it's kind of sad to think that like making videos of video games might ruin the like the pure experience of playing them in some way. Like I don't think it ruins it. Don't get me wrong. I actually have um, an opposite opinion that it. Well, actually, let's go past here then. What is that supposed to mean? There was an arrow saying to go over it, right? Yeah, I don't know. We'll just end the level, I guess. Um, yeah, but what I, just to finish my thought, I don't think that it actually ruins it. I've come to the conclusion that I just enjoy making videos so much more that I feel like I'm missing out playing them by myself without recording or making something out of them. Because like it's so I'm like on the fence on whether the, the experience is diminished a little bit or the experience of making the videos is so much better than just making video playing video games that I just crave it more. I don't know. I'm rambling now. I'm sorry. It's fucking... I'm tired again. I'm, I'm in one of those, like, rambly tired moods. But, uh, yeah. I think we're gonna end it here, because it's been about 15 minutes. So, thanks for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Squeaky's Ron Mac Romp. Um, I'll be back, hopefully, soon with another one. Um, I don't know when the next time I'll get a chance to record is, but hopefully it won't be too long. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you all there. So, have a wonderful afternoon. See some speedrun strats? Watch this shit. Ah! That was bad. <laughs> Next time on Squeeze Rom Hack Rock. Our heroes have made it through the hut bridge and are on their way to the Flame Dial Shrine. Who knows what awaits them there?